What's up folks, welcome back to the garage. After unlucky Saab project start, you can see the Saab background there, I decided to do something else. <laughs> and next I will start assemble the cylinder head of my B20 project. The block is back there and the head is here and I have some gaskets here on the table. But as you can see, it's a huge mess, my garage. So first thing I have to do is to do some cleaning. And I'll get back to you after I have cleaned all this mess. Uh, got my toolbox down here. And the block, I will move the block also about here. So see you soon. Oh yes, now everything should be ready. I have the gasket here and this is uh, 0 0.8. So this is thinner version to get the uh, compression ratio about 10 or a little more. I have the cylinder head here. If you haven't watched my earlier videos, the valves are slightly bigger and uh, especially the exhaust uh, ports are ported. I have only a little smooth than these intake uh, ports and it's a little bit thinner to, to get the right compression ratio and I have all, uh, also um, shaped the uh, compression chamber a little bit Com I'm sorry, combustion chamber, not compression uh, combustion chamber, I have shaped it slightly and uh, rocker system, uh, these actually, these are push rods, yes, <laughs> sorry, I almost forget what Tuento uh, Tango is in English, push rod, uh, head bolts, and uh, assembly lube, the block is ready, I have these uh, guide pins here ready. I made these out of old head gasket bolts. I have the racers already there and as you can see there's a lot of assembly lube and I have the gaskets here. I oh. First I thought that okay these are too thick but then I realized that okay there will be the head gasket so they have to be a little up from the surface so no problem there. And I have this great service manual, sorry, uh, I don't remember the link. Someone of you might ask that, where did I found this? But somewhere from the Google, this is service manual for B20A and B20B engines. This is, this is great stuff because you can find all the uh, tightening to torques here, cylinder head. 8.5 to 9.5 and uh, just a sec and there's tightening sequence for cylinder head bolts 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on this is great and uh, there's also instructions for fitting the cylinder head. Yes, there. After running the engine warm and retightening the cylinder head bolts to torque to 8.5 to 9.0. So I will do that later on. Uh, I forgot to mention that I will pour a little bit oil here in the cylinder so it will be easier to adjust the, the valves. Uh, one thing or actually two things I have to do. There's uh, the crankshaft seal and uh, on both sides. Uh, these are original ones and I haven't uh, 
poured oil or they are uh, still dry so I will take those uh, gaskets out and I will and after that they should hold much better we are thinking that now it's perfect time to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do it right away and also remember to press the bell Yes, no issues at this point. I used the torque 9 here, so they should be now okay. And I covered the ports and there's the, is it the place for the thermometer? So I covered them. So there will be no junk going in the engine. Um, in the manual, there was one notification that oil the oil hole in cylinder head should be checked and clean it's there and it seems to be okay uh, next thing i will put the push rods and the rocker system and uh, i will use the assembly lube and i will check the torques from the manual and i will tell, tell them you later but next I couldn't find the right torque for the rocker arm or the rocker system bolts from that book, but there's the <coughs> turbobooks.com forum, which is very handy. Uh, I just googled uh, B20 rock arm torque and I found this uh, forum. There's a big list of torques and all measurements are in FTLBS, so I have to be careful. Uh, rocker shaft bolt 25. Yes, problem solved. So next I will tighten these in right torque and after that we will start adjusting the valves. It was about 34 newton meters, the torque. I convert it <laughs> to the newton meters and now it should be okay next thing is to adjust the valves uh, i have turned the crankshaft pulley so that you can see there's the zero here on the mark and i check that valves number one and two they are rocking and i have the manual here sorry this is only in finnish this is like a do it by yourself handbook for Volvo owners and um, 
Uh, first, I check that the valves 1 and 2 are rocking, then I'm going to adjust valves 4, 6, 7 and 8, and then I will rotate the engine and um, until it's in the zero spot again, and then I will uh, adjust the valves 1, 2, 3 and 5. And in my engine, I'm using, this is the intake valves and exhaust valves, I'm using the same measurement, uh, 0 0.5 millimeters. The ad adjusting is so simple in this engine. I just need this 30 mil, 13, sorry, not 30, 13. <laughs> I lose the nut and uh, I will use my screwdriver and this tool to measure the right gap between the valve and the rocker. Now the engine is waiting for next things. I think I should now buy uh, spark plugs on this side, uh, oil filter. Then I have to make sure that the the boat and uh, the crankshaft seals are soaking wet of oil. Um, distributor start starter uh, alternator fuel pump they all are coming from this engine and the carburetor exhaust manifold so next with this car i have to bleed the the brakes then take it down uh, maybe do some driving videos with this 145 it needs the windshield also and after that I will take this engine out and put that engine back in then I hope we have a few more horsepower in this nice car <laughs> so I have a plan coming together in my head I have also the valve cover here I think I have to clean this inside and outside and I have the gasket here um, but because the screws are like this I'm thinking that should I find a different kind of little better valve cover because um, this is already bent a little bit I'm uh, I'm normally I'm tightening these screws too tight <laughs> and uh, it will bend the valve cover if you have good tips what kind of valve cover should be would be better i would appreciate your comments thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up and comments down below that would be a great and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet now it's a good time to do that and also remember to press the bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon.